becoming skillful at your art and and you know it takes a lot of practice and it takes a lot of heart you know after you get your ass kicked enough you still got to get up and fight <laughs> not everybody can do that's why not everybody's cut out to be a musician for life you know <laughs> but it's been good to me it's been good to me but it hasn't been a walk in the park you know been a lot of struggle there that's the art part to playing music, and it's the art part to anything that involves the arts, even if it's ballet dancing, so to speak, is making people feel something. The familiarity of, uh, you know, being human and, and understanding other human beings, you know, it makes you feel good to have someone else get what you do. You know, it's like seeing a shrink, but you don't gotta see a shrink, you just write a song about it. And you sing that and let the let humanity know how you feel at the moment. I really live to just make really loud sounds in a huge place and experiment, you know. And I'm a tone fanatic. That's all I do is you know, study and try to get that perfect tone. And I've had it a couple times in my life where it was so perfect I didn't think it could get better. But you can always do a little better, you know, so. But for a while, all I used is distortion. Now I use a number of things. I use, you know, EQs and comp pedals and delay pedals and fuzzes and phases. And MXR is a great foundation to have, you know what I mean? All my foundational pedals are MXR pedals. And uh, I just got this Phase 99, which I can kind of run two amps out of, which I haven't got to use this live yet, but I can't wait to like, because you can kind of sync up the two different phase shifts, or then you can take them out of phase, and I'm wondering what happens if I hook up like three stacks and run everything all fucking warped and like, you know. I'm gonna have fun at the next sound check, you know, that I get to make a bunch of noise. And me growing up kind of a poor kid in the trailer park, though, I didn't always have money to, like, throw around on effects, so when I bought an effects pedal, I had to make sure it was, like, really the one I wanted, you know? So I knew that I'd end up here then if that, you know, I'm not saying I could tell the future or anything, but I just knew for a fact that this is exactly what I'd be doing, this is where I was supposed to be. You know, just always kind of could picture a crowd in front of me in my head while I was sitting there learning how to play, you know. You know, it came true, I guess. Yeah, I just followed my calling, what felt right to my heart, I suppose. Yeah.